Good morning, everybody. Davis Tallow here coming at you with day 15 of 30 days, 30 bands, all live albums, celebrating the coming of spring. And today we'll be discussing a band, a metal band that hasn't gotten really a lot of love from the metal community as far as I'm concerned. They have put out a ton of music. I uh, haven't done too much as of late. Um, but uh, band formed back in uh, Tarpon Hills, Florida, by in 1979, by John and Chris Oliva. Of course, I'm talking about Sabotage. Great metal band. Um, though their earlier stuff, their first two albums were classic, then they kind of went off a little bit and uh, tried to do some radio friendly stuff but uh, really didn't work out but anyway uh, of course when then we lost Chris to a drunk driver in 93 you know don't drive drunk please if you've been out drinking find a ride home or stay where you're at so don't take take the risk with your life or anybody else's life please anyway uh, first album we'll be discussing the court released in uh, 1995 of course in Japan and Germany didn't get released over here in the US until the late 90s I believe of course I'm talking about Japan Live 94 decent album though I wouldn't, uh, whoop. wouldn't put it in my upper echelons, though I still like a lot of the songs on here. Uh, starts out with Tining Cobras and Edge of Thorns. Fat, uh, fantastic opener right there. Chance is good, though it's not one of my favorites. Uh, nothing's going on. It's fantastic. Hard driving metal song. He carves a stone. Great. Jesus Say from uh, the album Streets. Great. Uh, watching you fall. Not one of my favorites. You know, it kind of the middle section kind of falls a little flat. Uh, Castles burning. All that I bleed. Oh, great melodic and rocker that you know just starts out soft and builds and then just wham a uh, handful of rains great you know then you have sirens from the their first album by the same name and it uh, ends with the uh, gutter ballet from the album the same name all in all good decent album Though, uh, it would have been a little bit better had they included a lot more. Of course, they were still, hadn't really made it big yet. You know, they were, though they were well known in Japan and stuff, but not here in the United States. But still, decent rock and album some great songs great tracks so check that out uh, the other one is an album that was re recorded way bef uh, before let's see from 87 to 90 and this is when Chris Oliva was still in, uh, alive. Talking about Ghost in the Ruins, a, trip to, a tribute to Chris Oliva. Uh, this one, I think, well, I believe, in my opinion, is a lot harder and heavier than Japan 94. Uh, starts out with City Beneath the Surface. Fantastic. 24 hours ago. Legions. 
Strange Wings, Gutter Ballet, of course. Uh, Temptation Revelation, When the Crowds Have Gone. Of Rage and War. I uh, just love the way that opens up on the... Uh, Dungeons Are Calling. I think Dungeons Are Calling is one of my all-time favorite sabotage, early sabotage songs. This hard, driving metal. The dungeons are calling. Sirens. Another, you know, another great rocker there. Yeah, this this one, the sirens, a little bit heavier. Of course, it's got John's raspy, rough voice. I think lends a little bit more to it. Hounds. Then you got uh, instrumental, Chris intro, instrumental. All the Mount King, then another instrumental postscript. All in all, you know, sabotage, you know, Oliva Brothers at their height. I mean, it's just, this is any indication what, you know, what could have been, you know, had Chris not been taken by a selfish drunk driver. I mean, he would have. Of course, not taking anything free from Zach Stevens or Chris Caffrey and you know all, all them that came after. But uh, just Chris Olivia would you know it would have been really neat to see what they him and John could have came up with. And who knows, Sabotage could be still going strong today. And of course, I keep getting or hearing rumors of how John's going to get Sabotage back together and they're going to do an album, but they always get shot down. And John comes, well, I never said that. You know, Zach Stevens, you know, join, rejoining them, but I don't think Jack or Zach will ever rejoin. Of course, you never know. There's always hope. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, sabotage. Ghost in the Ruins, check it out. On Japan, live, 94, check it out. Great, good stuff right there. So anyway, hope your day goes well, and uh, we'll see you on day 16 coming uh, Monday morning. And hopefully I'll... Be doing a raking of albums. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I've been having a lot of stuff going on, you know, getting time to do these videos, even though they're just a few minutes long. <laughs> they're about 10 to 30 minutes long each, you know, depending on how many albums. Uh, you know, takes a good chunk, you know, plus uploading it and all that. But hopefully I can get some time to do a ranking. Uh, of course, weather out here has been getting better and better all the time. It was, you know, 60s later, you know, this weekend and next weekend is supposed to be in the 70s again. Last weekend was in the 70s. So, anyway, wherever you're at, I hope your day is going great and we'll see you tomorrow.